Hello everybody, welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host Pasquale. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how my wife makes rice balls. Um, it's a long process, so we have to cut it a little on the short side, but I'm gonna show you first what she does, and then uh, we'll put the recipe right on the, uh, on the description. Um, so this is a tradition that my wife makes every Christmas and uh, she makes usually between 100 and 150 and everybody comes over the house and uh, we give them, we put it in their hands and they take it home. So they love it, the whole family comes and they love this uh, rice bowl. All right, so we have two rice cooker going. Uh, we're making the rice and I think my wife uses Uncle Ben's rice and also um, she will attempt to do a, uh, a small batch with the arborio rice, which is the Italian rice. Now this in Italy, actually, the tradition comes from Sicily and they call arancini. So arancini or arancina, they call her, you know, they do it individual. It's the rice bowl with all sorts of good India. So I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'll show you when we start working. Hey guys, welcome back. We are uh, making arancini or arancine, the way they say in Sicily. And this is the procedure. So we have, uh, 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 this is our body rice, the Italian rice that we use for this uh, sample. And we have also the other rice over there. It was Uncle Ben. Um, so now my wife is going to show you exactly what she does and what she puts in the uh, rice. One egg, beautiful. Nice and red. And this is uh, my wife's homemade sauce. That was left over from the other uh, rice that she made. And she puts locatelli pecorino romano in here. Uh, now my wife doesn't uh, really measure this because she knows it by heart. But when we put the, the description in it, we're gonna we're gonna let you know the stuff that you need. I'm resting my camera on my espresso machine, so I cannot make any espresso coffee right now. So you mix it all up together: one egg and the cheese, and a little bit of sauce. So you can see it's like just a little, little on a, uh, like almost like an orangey side. But that's the sauce. Then she's gonna add more sauce. A little while. I can smell and do the rest of this thing. She's gonna make one just for the show. She's gonna make only one or two, complete from beginning to the end. And then uh, you guys can, you know, lick your lips. Once you taste it, you're gonna say, Mamma mia, beautiful. A little more cheese in it. Formaggio Italiano. See, oh, hey, even the other ones. I'm ready to eat. That's my plate. Uh -huh, let me see. This is this is my plate. This is what I want to eat now. Anyway. Buono, buono, buono. All right. So this rice needs to cool off now. It's going to be. It's going to sit there. Now this two, we have two more here, and my wife is mixing the other one. They've been sitting for a good hour, and usually she leaves it overnight in the fridge, because when you make the, the rice bowl, the arancini, I know it needs to be cold, so she can mix everything else together, and then put uh, mozzarella, all the good stuff in there. So we have to wait that this gets cold, but in the meantime, she's working on the other ones. Okay guys, we're back and the rice cooled off. My wife put it in the fridge, so now it's nice and cool. We have our aluminum tray, which is gonna put the arancini, and the content of the arancini is beautiful meatball that she made, mozzarella, ham, and salami, and her homemade sauce. So now she's gonna show us exactly what she does. So little by little, she's gonna get the rice, you have to press it nice, 
you got to create almost like a pocket. I like a hot pocket. She puts some mozzarella, some ham, some meatball, and some sauce right over. And now she creates the orancini, the rice ball. Now what she's going to do is going to put it inside the tray and let it cool off more. So it's going to get even colder. A lot of time what she does is usually um, she puts it in the fridge, let it stay overnight, and then the next morning she will proceed with the breadcrumbs and the coating and everything else and then she deep fries them. But I'm going to show you the, the whole procedure now, see she's doing it again. So a little rice, a little meatball, mozzarella, ham and salami and sauce, and the magic hands that they create the orancini. And he showed the orancini right there. A beautiful, look at that. If she throws that in your face, you're done. All right, guys, well, well she's gonna work and do this. And once um, once uh, they cool off, we're gonna show you the, sec the, the third and last phase of the operation which is uh, completing the orangini and also the cooking and the eating by me. Thank you. All right, so my wife is dipping the orangini into the flour first and then into the egg and then into the breadcrumbs. Look at this. Looks like it looks like a, a baseball. Uh, she can hit you in the head with this next round. Definitely. Look at the beautiful, beautiful creation. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So this is the process: flour first, eggs, and then let it drip the excess. And see the way she does it. Nice, nice and smooth. Very, very nice. So now we have about, she already made about 75 or 76 um, today, and uh, now she's gonna keep doing this process on all of them, and then we're gonna show you how we fry them. All right, we'll see you soon, ciao. Okay, everybody, time to fry the orancini rice balls. Let's go. Oh, Mamma Mia, you hear, you hear the music, you hear the sound, the sound of joy, the sound of Christmas. It's almost like happy birthday to me. Hey guys, so the rice bowl are almost done. Actually, I think they are done. So we're going to let it cool off just a little and then we're going to put it on the dish and we're going to open it up and show you exactly what they look like. You cannot see how they smell like, but you're gonna definitely see me eating it, and you're gonna like it too. Look at this stuff. Oh, mama mia. Very nice. See you soon. Hello, everybody. This is Pasquale. Welcome to La Cucina. This is a beautiful, beautiful rice ball that my wife made. And now I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna try it, and see how tasty they are. So I'm going to try the first one. They're so smooth, so like fluffy actually. They're hot. They just came out. Okay. Oh mama, look at this. Look at this. Look at this beautiful creation that my wife made. Hold on a second now. I'm going to put a little bit of homemade sauce right over and I'm going to try it what do you think should I eat it or should I eat it I think I'm gonna eat it let's see oh mama mia mm -mm. Oh. oh mama it's the end of the world incredible you don't need nothing else out of this. This is a meal. Well, I'm not gonna eat all three, but definitely one and a half today. 
Mm. I'm sorry guys. I have to let you go. Because I'm gonna eat this stuff now. And also, of course I'm gonna have a glass of wine. So I think maybe maybe it's a, the last video for the before Christmas. Who knows? Maybe another one is coming out. But thank you very much for watching and listen. I'm gonna put the recipe on YouTube. You guys watch it, learn it, make it, and believe me, if you follow the direction, it's incredible, delicious. You, I, I cannot stop eating this stuff. And I'll see you next time. Tanti auguri di Natale. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Salute everybody. Ciao. So guys, this is the end of the video. And I just want to say one thing. You know, as long as we have wine and rice balls, the holiday will be fine. Merry Christmas to all. Ciao.